Now, how am I going to protect myself from all this bruising that's going to happen to me when I play the spoons? So I've devised my own little method of how to look after myself so I don't end up with legs the colour of these pads. Firstly, I have a boys cricket thigh pad with some covered in some material with some elastic on the back and I put this on the preferred leg, the one I play on most of the time. And that means I can just hit that leg as hard as I want and I'm not going to end up with a bruised leg. So that's the first thing that I do. Okay, so that's the pad there, which means I can hit as hard as I want with my spoons. So I could be using metal spoons most of the time when I play. I hit that as hard as I want. Okay, the second thing that I worked out was to, so I can hold these spoons in position all the time, no matter how nervous I am, because when you're nervous you perspire. And the key thing is to have the backs of the spoons coming together exactly. I wear a golf glove. But before I put my golf glove on, my rings are taken off and I take my jewellery off. And so I wear a, And I've got different coloured golf gloves depending on what outfit I'm wearing, whether I want a blue trim, yellow trim. So today I've got the red, red golf glove. And on the red golf glove, on the finger that I play with, I've actually got a piece, one side of the sticky back Velcro, the other side of the sticky back Velcro is on my spoons that I'm going to play with, and if I position them like so in the hand, that means no matter what I do with my spoons, because I move around a bit when I play spoons, no matter what I do, the backs will always come together. So that's two of the things that I do. Now the third thing that I do is I now take the left hand because that takes the smashing at the top of this spoon. So I take this hand up. And this is sportsman's tape. Take this off to do it. And I simply take this hand up completely with all these pieces of tape, the varying lengths. There's a thumbs done. Middle of the hand, top of the hand, first finger, and the fourth finger. And now, because when I move around so much, I simply make sure that that thumb is not going to come off, and I have another little piece of tape for there. This means that this hand doesn't, I'm not bruising the bones or any part of that hand and it disperses the impact. <coughs> I'll make it into my hand and there it is all protected. The golf hand protected, hold the glove, glove holding the spoons in place and I'll hold the leg pad. As well, often I'll wear a pair of bike pants and I have actually got that tape on this part of the leg on my bike pants, which means that helps if I do play over there, because it's body percussion, that helps to protect that part. 